Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, I'm going to make a tagliatelle or a pasta with tomatoes and pastrami. Let's get moving. In my pan here, I'm heating up some olive oil and we're going to drop in some sliced onions. Touch of marjoram I'm using today, but you could use oregano or basil. Touch of salt. We'll get some black pepper in. And we're going to cook this for about four to five minutes on a kind of medium tight heat. Cook them nicely. While I'm here, I'm going to put in some chopped garlic. Nice amount. I want it to have a nice garlicky flavour. Now I like making this dish with pastrami, I mean, I love pastrami and it's great in a sandwich of course, but it can be used for so many other different things, I mean, this is really like a substitute for ham, so think of it like that and then you can go a long way with your pastrami, you can put it on pizzas, you can make a kind of pastrami corned beef hash, lots of things to do with it. Right, let's sweat these down for a few minutes and I'll be back. These are coming along really nicely. And at this stage I'm going to add some tomatoes, fresh tomatoes chopped. If you wanted you could use a can, nothing wrong with that at all. I just want to make a fresh tomato sauce today. So, we're now going to pop a lid on that. I'm going to cook that for about five or six minutes, kind of medium, lowish medium heat. What should happen is they'll break down somewhat. We'll then add a touch of water to kind of get it a bit more happening. Stir often. So with your pasta, lots of water, get it nice and hot. I've got a touch of salt in there and as we know we're going to use tagliatelle today. I'm going to just drop these in. When you drain this off, there's no need to wash it or anything. Some people wash pasta for some strange reason. Absolutely no need. There we go. Okay, let's get back onto that sauce. Okay, let's take a look now. Let some steam out of there. There you go. As you can see, those tomatoes are breaking down nicely and giving off quite a lot of their own moisture. So I am going to add just a touch of water, a little splash of cold water. If you wanted, you could maybe add some red wine or white wine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to add ketchup. You could, if you wanted, add a paste or a tomato puree. I find that this bit of ketchup will really balance out the tartness of fresh tomatoes. And ketchup is really, it's really used a lot in lots of catering establishments, much more than you realise. So on a low heat, let's just cook this little sauce together now. I'll be back in about five or six. Let's take a look now, shall we? That's looking pretty good to me. I mean... We all know that generally if you're going to make a pasta sauce, the longer the better. I mean, this is really quick. And some of the pasta sauces that we make cook for hours and hours and hours. This will just get better. When you actually top it up in the kitchen, you know, in the industrial kitchen or in a restaurant, there's a big pot and the sauce just keeps getting topped up all the time. It's on 24 hours. We're not doing that today. We've got a nice, simple, quick one here. I'm now going to add some sweet bell peppers, just some green ones, chopped nice and small, and you could add some, some different colours if you wanted, or a touch of broccoli, or some mushrooms, tell that to you, so in they go, as does our pastrami, which I've chopped, you know, kind of julian fashion, and again, like I say, you could just use a ham for this if you wanted, 
So the pastrami's in, the peppers in, or capsicums, however you call them. I'm going to give that a mix. Check this for salt. Maybe you want to add a little bit more. Lids on. We want to simmer now. I'm turning it up full blast. I'm going to cook that high heat just for about four minutes. Okay, so my pasta's done. I've drained it off. I'm straightening back into the pot that I cooked it in. It's a bit big, you see. Now, you can use any pasta you like, by the way. I'm just using a tagliatelle today. Now, sauce straight in. I'm going to give this a nice mix around. And this is pretty much ready to eat. Let's make sure you give it a nice coating so we get our sauce all over the pasta. And then you can serve it. It's absolutely wonderful. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.